Welcome back here in New England. You know we love our seafood. So joining us to kick off National Lobster Day on Wednesday is Chef Thomas Park from Salty Girl on Newbury Street. Thanks for joining us. Happy to be here. Lobster is so versatile. It is. How are you guys celebrating National Lobster Day? Well, we have plenty of lobster options on our menu. Mm -hmm. um, we have our lobster and waffles, which is kind of one of our uh, signature dishes. Yeah. It's a play on chicken and waffles. It's an amazing dish. Um, as well as our cold and hot lobsters. Uh, we're gonna plate a hot lobster roll right now um, to kind of uh, really kind of focus on the how one of our most popular dishes on our menu. And it's interesting because I always thought, I've never made this on my own, but I always thought you add the butter after, but you're kind of cooking the butter into the lobster. You wanna slowly temper the lobster uh, in the butter. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's kind of bringing, I guess just butter poaching again. Mm -hmm. um, and then that- Let's seal in the flavor it really of it. Does. And also it kind of brings that butter flavor, that really unctuous flavor into it. And it yeah. really makes it a really nice soft roll. And I love a lot of butter. Just put butter on everything. <laughs> so the roll, you said there's a specific roll that you have to use. It has to be a brioche roll. Uh -huh. um, no I, substitutes. No substitutes. <laughs> uh, it doesn't work any other way. Uh, and then the best way to do it is just to kind of toast it on both sides with more butter. Yum. So should we should we get going a little bit? So you have the roll, and then you've been kind of doing this, heating it up a little bit. Yeah. So we slowly bring it up to temperature. Oh my um, gosh. And then we kind of bring it out of the the poaching liquid. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's pretty much um, just build as is as is. We salt um, as soon as it comes it out. Smells so good. It's like that lobster. Oh my gosh. You can almost like smell the sweetness a little bit to it and too. And we just really just pile it high on top and that's kind of how we uh, we just plate it. I mean, it's just amazing. Um, and then we finish this with uh, our beurre blanc sauce. Uh, so we add a nice little acidity as well as, uh, you know, balance. Now what is this right here? What, what flavor does this add? This is just basically like white wine, butter, uh, and lemon juice. More butter. Uh, I love it. <laughs> you gotta add more I butter. I love it. Now for people at home, um, you guys have a patio too, right? Absolutely. Tell me about the vibe at Salty Girl. It's right on Newbury Street. You get the hustle and bustle. It's yeah, a fun spot. It is, and it's great for people watching, but also the food's great and the drinks are amazing with it, along with it too, so it's a good experience. And I was telling you earlier, I love going out there, sitting on the patio with a glass of rose and Absolutely. some of your crab rolls. That's amazing. And for this, people can find this on the menu, right? Yes. How are some ways that people can recreate this at home, maybe with certain toppings? Um, yeah, I mean, we can, it's like vegetables that, you know, like a lot of people like to add um, celery yeah. to it and dill. It really depends on the flavor profiles you're looking for. Uh, but honestly, if, if you should just stick to the classic, uh, and Let the lobster really yeah, shine in the dish. The lobster is the, is the star in this one. And something that pairs really well with this, your famous chips. Yeah, so we, have, we, <laughs> we, we go through a lot. Yeah, I bet uh, you do. But our, our favorite is the, uh, the, the malt vinegar and salt chips. Uh, they're, so they're, they're perfect. With, it cuts through the, the richness of the butter. I'm going to open up a bag. Thank you so much for joining us. National Lobster Day is on Wednesday. And, of course, you can dine at Salty Girl any day of the week. doesn't have to be National Lobster Day. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. We'll be right back.